Well, ningetaka kujibu rais wetu wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Mheshimiwa Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. Rais ambaye tunamheshimu, tumempenda, tumemchagua mara mbili. Lakini kuna mambo nyeti ningetaka kumuelezea kama ndugu yake. Ujichunga na statement ambayo unatoa. Kwa sababu hiyo unatoa unafungulia watu kuweza kujibu wewe na utajibiwa. Kwa sababu zingine imeonekana umeanza kufanya interference kubwa kwa siasa ya Najua kitu kinawasha kwa sababu wakati yako mpigua kura 2013 2017 mara mbili na ikatosheka. Wao wakakuja hapa ngata kumwambia you can choose a friend the not a neighbor. Wewe mwenyewe. Uhuru mrei Kenyatta. Ili ma statement unatoa make sure you give the statement when you are sober. Kwa sababu there must be something wrong. Lazima kuwe kitu ambaye sio mzuri. Kwa sababu hii attack unafanya deputy president. Eh? Wakuwa sasa kina mudavadi. Ate siasa ifanyie juu ya gari. Nimeona umejibua na watu wengi. Siasa yako ulifanya ukiwa wapi? You are in the top of the roof of the car throughout. Ukiomba kura. Ukizunguza na wananchi wa Kenya na wakakupea kura. Rais wetu, kama kuna mpango wao nataka kuleta ya vita nchi hii yetu ya Kenya. Wewe leo lakini ndujue kuna Mungu ako mbinguni. When you are insulting the others and you are from central, you are putting us in a very awkward situation. Kwa sababu wale watu watujui wanatuchukua sisi kama watu ya central ambao tunafanya siasa ina hiyo. And I would like to clear the people. We are not with the with the president. Hiyo siasa anafanya ni yake. Don't take him as a, as a somebody from central muchukue kama rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya ile mambo anafanya. Na ningetaka kukumbusha Uweze kuelewa mzuri sana. Tuexense. Ile mambo deputy president amekufanyia. Ile mambo mudavadi amekufanyia. Ile kazi umefanya na hawa hata wakati mlikuwa kanu. Don't forget with the history. Lakini hiyo incitement umeanza wewe. Na hasira ule unaye ni ya nini? Mimi ningekuambia hivi. Hayati Mzee Jomo Kenyatta. Mzee ambaye tulipenda sana. Aliungana na wazee wetu akaleta uhuru wa Kenya. Alipojaribu kubadilisha katiba ilikuwa ngumu. Alipojaribu kuleta mtu yule atamumliki ama atamchukua uongozi wake haikuwezekana. Hiyo yote akiwashawasha alilala mzuri Mungu akamlalisha bila uchungu kwa njia mzuri akawacha nchi ya Kenya ikiwa na amani. Transition yake kuja kwa moi it was peaceful. Kwa sababu ilikuwa ni mpango ya nani? Ni mpango ya Mungu na tunashukuru ya kazi alifanya. Lakini alipumzika hakuweza kubadilisha katiba, hakuweza kutoa mtu wa kulidhi yeye na nchi ya Kenya ikaendelea. Moi. Alipokuja akasema ni wewe. Haikufanyika. Nikukumbusha historia pengine umesahau ya nchi hii. Na hiyo ndiyo mambo nyeti nitazungumza siku ya leo. Mus Muse, eh, ma, uh, hayati mzee Jomo Kenyatta 69 mimi nikuwa kijana alituita twende katondo akatupa kiapo ya kutupiganisha na watu ya Nyanza na hiyo kiapo tukakula sisi hatukujua chuki kati yetu wa kikuyu na watu wa Nyanza hatukujua baba yako akatuweka incitement na akatupea kiapo ya ile mambo ingine siwezi ongea lakini ilikuwa ni kutupiganisha na watu ya Nyanza wewe ukakuja juzi ukatuambia lija ni kimoja lija ni mwenda azimu ukatupiganisha na watu ya ya ile hiyo tena sasa nasema wewe mwalia yako kama mnachuki kati ya lila na familia yako mumalize shida zenu don't involve us as a kikuyu and we are saying this we are not going to be part and parcel ya kutupiganisha zina watu ya nyanza the people of nyanza sisi hatujui shida yao ilikuwa na baba yako akatuambia ikatoka na wewe mwenyewe ukatuambia sasa tena umetuletea huyo lady at the same time don't control and you have no control of kikuyu anymore don't wewe panga uende ulitae kwa njia mzuri usikuje kutuletea unafanya wa kikuyu sasa tena umeingia unataka kutupiganisha na watu wa Rift Valley sasa wewe kazi yako ni kuincite na familia yenu all the time kutupiganisha na kabila mkatupiganisha na watu wa Nyanza saa hii unataka kutupiganisha na watu ya Rift Valley. What is the problem with you? Unataka sisi wa Kikuyu tuende wapi? 
Unataka tuchukue na kabisa sote? Let us be free. Na wewe tumekumalizia yako na tunakupenda. Tulikupea kuna 2013. Ukapela kwa hegi na hiyo watu natuletea. Na ni kweli utuambia niwe ndazimu wewe mwenyewe. That's your, your statement. Kutoka hapo sasa umewacha umewacha chama, umepiga ruto, umesimika kazi wa jumbe na sasa unazukumia let me tell you. Maybe don't be drunk out with the money and the power. Please. Gufu ya uongozi upeano na Mungu. It looks you are forgetting God. Unataka kusema utaongoza. Yuzu ulidanganya wana Kenya ati mlikuwa na PG. How many PG wa IDU? Even not 10. Wanini haiku oneshano? Ionekana ile watu ulikuwa naye. And you are forcing people now kuambia ati mlifanya PG na mlifanya. Wale wanazunguza ni kanini kega? Wanazunguza kwa state out. Kwa papapa huko kwa mitaa, kwa mitaro. Ni wanazunguza mambo ya PG. Don't call Kenyans and let Kenyans be free. Yes, don't do those things. I beg you, I beg you, that agree to retire. Wachana asiki kuyu tuenda minanga kabuta pari tutaenda. Now we know where we are going. And we want to unite the very fast. Hiyo unajalibu kuinsite na watu yako. Na kuyataka country commissioners. Wale, wanataka wapiganishe sisi. Hapa, hatuta pigana tena na neighbor yetu. Majilani yetu, hatuta pigana. Tutakuwa na amani. Umewacha hiyo sasa unajaribu kupeanisha wa Kikuyu. Ukitumia ile watu unatumia jenga Mongai na watu wengine ambao unataka kutumia. We are not going to fight and we are asking ICC kama hujafunga file ya uhuru mwekai Kenya. Please open that file. Start fighting now what you try to do because anything let him retire in the jail. Sasa tutafanya sisi ni kupigana sisi. Tukupigana na mtu sisi. Sisi wa Kikuyu na amani. We want to stay all try. Want to stay with the people. Sasa watu ya Mombasa watu ya kwale watu ya kwali western tukae pamoja ni nini inakuwasha i would tell you this nuku wana kundule la mwenzake halioni kundule lake limechafuka pia please give us a break